Welcome to the Boxing Gossip Channel. Please hit subscribe if you are new. In this video, I'm referring to an article on worldboxingnews.net. The headline of the article is Eubank Jr. on Groves' loss. I was the aggressor, busier fighter, Groves was bad and negative. The article continues. Chris Eubank Jr. believes George Groves won their World Boxing Super Series using negative tactics as the Brighton man comes to terms with his second career loss. The 28-year-old is plotting his return to the ring after being knocked out of the World Boxing Super Series at the semi-final stage, but still says he was pushing the Manchester fight more than Groves last month. I was the aggressor. I was the busier fighter, Eubank Jr. told the London Evening Standard, but he never hurt me or had me in serious trouble. He was being bad and being negative. People saw that. People still look at both of us and say I'm the more exciting fighter. Asked about his dad, Chris Senior honestly stated he'd lost in the dressing room after the contest. Eubank Jr. added, my father's opinion is important to me, but it is what it is. So, for me, this is another revealing article about the mindset of Chris Eubank Jr. Regular viewers of the channel will know um, that I covered the fight in some length and also did a video afterwards talking about how Chris Eubank Jr. had handled the loss uh, with the eye-opening scene in the dressing room where he asked his team of yes men who won the fight and a lot of his yes men were standing around saying oh it was close it was a close fight Chris and actually his dad Chris Eubank Sr. said that he'd lost the fight um, now what I find amazing is that we're some weeks after the fight now. Eubank Jr. will have had time to watch, time to reflect, time to soak up the public reaction, hopefully time to look back at the fight two or three times. Yet his belief is that Groves won by being negative and that Groves fought a bad and dull fight. <coughs> For me... This continued approach from Eubank Jr. to fail to look at his own frailties is a real problem. Because when you're so content with blaming others and so insistent on avoiding the obvious truth, it means that you don't really make the changes you need to see the improvements that you need. Yeah, for me personally, I would have absolutely loved it if Eubank Jr. came out and said, Groves deserved to win. He out-jabbed me. My defences were open. I was too inaccurate. I couldn't build pressure and close down the range in the right way. And my corner work from my corner was very, very poor and didn't let me know that I was slipping behind in a fight. <coughs> now, had... Eubank Jr. come out and said that, given a very honest appraisal, I would have had a lot more confidence that Eubank Jr. would be going away to improve in the areas of his game that are seemingly not there at present. You know, sometimes when someone's able to give a more honest appraisal, you kind of need to get to that stage before you can really address the fundamental problems in your game. When Eubank Jr. lost to Billy Joe Saunders, he went round after that fight, implying that he believed he had won the fight. Perhaps even stronger um, than this George Groves fight. You know, he, he very much gave the viewpoint that he believed he was victorious that night. And because he showed that viewpoint, and then because he fought a succession of opponents who didn't test him in the same way as Billy Joe Saunders, um... <clears throat> What actually happened is that when he fought someone in Groves who could move, who could jab, who could box, who could use range, he was completely unprepared to deal with that challenge. And what he could offer had not really advanced in any way from the time he fought Billy Joe Saunders. For me, that is indicative of someone who's taken that loss to Billy Joe Saunders and instead of addressing the problem and running straight towards it, he's buried his head in the sand. You know, he's buried his head in the stand and it's meant when he's been tested in the same way, 
He hasn't learned from that experience. He hasn't adapted and evolved since that experience. And he's made the same mistakes in the Groves fight as he made in the Billy Joe Saunders fight. Unfortunately, at 28 years of old, which isn't young for a boxer anymore, and in a position where he seems to have fought the majority of his career without a real training setup, it is very, very hard to believe that next time round, when Junior has to face someone, he will find the necessary edits to his game that he's going to need. He didn't learn from the Billy Joe Saunders loss. It doesn't appear he's learnt from the George Groves loss. When he talks about the fight, he doesn't talk about his own issues and his own deficiencies. Instead, he finds a way of ripping into Groves. The same Groves who took him to school for large portions of the fight being frank. Will he be changing his training setup off the back of it? I don't know. One thing I have noticed is Eubank Jr. subsequent to the loss seems to have been quite outspoken in the media. There's been coverage in the mainstream media about how he knocked out a man in a uh, street fight when he was a teenager for you know, some sort of altercation for someone who, who, who wanted to reclaim some money they'd lost on a bet on Chris Eubank Sr. Um, he's been talking about the Nick Blackwell incident. You know, I saw an article on that again on World Boxing News. And you just wonder what's going on with Eubank. Is he trying to keep his name in the fray? Is he trying to keep himself relevant? Is he trying to be controversial and say things that he knows are going to grab headlines? You know, maybe this is just more media manipulation from the Eubanks and more you know, coming out with sound bites in order to grab the attention. I've also noticed the IBO coming out and saying Eubank may well be eligible uh, to fight for their vacant title as George Groves didn't contest for the belt. You know, I'd have to say uh, Eubank Jr. fighting an unheard of name for the vacant IBO title is pretty unappealing. You know, Eubank's an exciting fighter on his day. He and his team are an exciting personality. But after these two losses, the mystique is gone. The aura around him is gone. And I think the majority of boxing fans would agree to me with me that what we don't want to see Eubank do now is fight a Reynold Quinlan equivalent for a vacant IBO world title. Is he going to learn? Is he ever going to learn? At 28 years old, without a trainer and seemingly refusing to analyse any of the obvious faults in his game. Betting man? No, he's probably not going to learn. What Chris Eubank Jr. may do is face a succession of flat-footed boxers who can't punch and who he can just impose himself on and get three or four highlight reel wins. Um, and maybe the hype will start to build again, and maybe he can throw himself in with big names. You know, you've got the likes of James the Gale, who are going to be looking for paydays in, you know, uh, oncoming years. Um, maybe a name like Jamie Cox, if he comes through the John Ryder test. Maybe the winner of Cox Ryder. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe even a George Groves rematch. Groves, Groves may fancy a rematch there. It's obviously a big money fight. Very big money fight, and he, he may view Eubank as easy work. So Eubank can come again. He's got the marketability to come again. Um, but could boxing fans ever pick him to be an A-grade boxer after this, uh, with this attitude? Probably not. Probably not. You know, it doesn't look like anything is changing so far in the Eubank camp. It doesn't look like he's had a huge period of self-reflection where he's decided that various things are going wrong with his career and he needs to, you know, innovate in order to stay on top. Uh, it more just seems that instead of addressing those, he, he's kind of happy to, to have a pop at George Groves and say that George Groves won the fight by fighting a bad and negative style. You know, my take on that, what George Groves did was boxing 101. Jab, movement, range, distance. You know, this isn't a pub fight. This isn't knocking someone out in the street for two grand, like Eubanks referred to. This is world-class boxing. This is an elite technical sport. And uh, what Eubank proved himself to be that night is a very tough fighter against a very skilled boxer. And maybe he hasn't quite realised that 
if even after this period where he will have had ample time to rewatch it, he hasn't realised what actually went down on the ring. It was nothing to do with negativity. It was to do with boxing pedigree. Let me know your take. Hit me up with your comments in the section below. If you've enjoyed this video, please take the time to hit the thumbs up button. If you're new and if you haven't already done so, please press subscribe. As always, many thanks for tuning in.